can see the chunks and stuff I'm talking about right here. Or maybe you've never ever been back here. And all you have to do is take your screws off, open this back up, and this is gonna be your heating element, as well as sanitizing your whole water system. How to fully sanitize your entire fresh water tank, your water lines, even your water hose. So why am I sitting here with seven gallons of vinegar in front of me? And I'm talking about the filters inside mainly. Go ahead, pull down those units, get those filters out. You can vacuum them, you can rinse them with water. Spring is upon us. And what comes with spring? Well, a lot of times, camping season. Now for me, full-time RVer, I guess it's always camping season. But for many of you, you guys are pulling your RVs out for the first time. Now I have another video, and I'll put a link to that up here. And it's five projects you want to do before you pull the camper out. These are more major, involved, safety protocol kind of things. Today we're gonna to talk about some smaller, quick, easy little things to do. And they're not just for people who've been storing their RV, but full-time RVers too. It's just a great time of the year to go ahead and knock out these projects that you've probably been neglecting, forgetting, or maybe just not thinking about doing at all. So let's go ahead and start with cleaning the back of your fireplace. And you're probably thinking, my fireplace? I'm not even using that. It's going to be nice and warm out. Exactly. We've been using our electric fireplaces that most of these RVs have. We've been using them for so long. All winter, we shut them off. We forget about them until it gets cold for that first day in October again. You go to fire it up. You don't think twice about it. You start using it. So now that we're done using it, I actually think it's a good time of the year to actually pull the fireplace out, get back behind there, and check to see if everything's working okay and clean it up. It's pretty easy to get back here and open these up and a lot of times it's a neglected area and what you really want to do after just you know a year of winter and maybe using it a lot more than usual or maybe you've never ever been back here but a lot of dust and things can really build up and get inside these vents right here and all you have to do is take your screws off open this back up and this is going to be your heating element and you can either just get an air chuck blow it out with some air clean it up or vacuum it out Make sure there's no potential for fire hazards by cleaning all that dust and stuff out. You want to check the wires, just kind of give it a one over look at it, see if anything looks like it's been running a little hot, any wires that look like maybe they're starting to look a little black or burning or anything that could be a potential fire hazard. Something to check on once the season's over and you pretty much aren't going to use it for the whole summer time. Number two on the list, and that's going to be water filters. When was the last time you changed your water filters if you're using any kind of water filtration system? Now we have an underneath the kitchen sink water filtration system from Loop Technology, as well as we use their AR3 water filtration system outside. As full-time RVers, we are going through drinking water straight from the tap, and we need to keep track of how often we need to change the filters. Otherwise, you may just forget about it. You may even start to notice that you're losing water pressure. That's a big sign that it's time to change your water filters. Now, right here in my phone, in the notes section, I actually like to keep track of the date. Every time I change out and put new filters in, I write the date of when I put those in. That way I know, estimated about three or four months from now, I should probably go ahead and look into start changing them. Also, you can go ahead and check out a link below to Blue Technology where you can save 7% off any of their items from their stainless steel braided hoses to their stainless steel quick connects, their water filtration systems. And if you guys have any other quick tips, go ahead and comment down below. I'd like to hear about some little areas that you guys kind of knock out clean, some things I'm not thinking of to get the camper ready for camper season. Next up, we just talked filters. Now let's talk air conditioned filters. And I'm talking about the filters inside mainly. Go ahead, pull down those units, get those filters out. You can vacuum them, you can rinse them underwater, but make sure those things are clean so your units are running at their optimal performance. Now, of course, you wanna do more than just clean the inside filters, but that's sometimes overlooked. You get going with this other maintenance, like getting on top of the roof and cleaning the evaporator coils, the condenser coils, and all of that. And we have videos about that. That's important to do this time of year as well. But don't forget about the simple maintenance of just grabbing those indoor filters and keeping those clean as well. And while we're looking at the ceiling, checking filters, go ahead and turn your head and move on from the AC unit over to your max air fans. You guys want to go ahead and pull the screens down from those as well. Give them a vacuum, give them a wash, 
get up in there, lube anything that needs to be lubed, make sure everything's working good, and then jump up on the roof. And if you have the max air vent covers like we do, go ahead and open those up. You'd be surprised how much garbage and crap actually gets inside there. You wanna clean those up, spray those off, hose those off, and keep those clean as well. Next up, let's jump back to water. And this is a big one. It's gonna kind of include everything. It's kind of the big three. And that is going to be your water heater, descaling it, changing the anode rod on that water heater since you're descaling it, as well as sanitizing your whole water system. Now we're not gonna get into the details in this video today because yep, you guessed it. I have links to other videos where we go over all three of those. How to fully sanitize your entire fresh water tank, your water lines, even your water hose, if you need to do that, and you can check that out. How to descale the water heater to keep it from getting a bad smell, keep all the calcium and corrosion that's going on inside there at bay, flush it out. You know, you put the white vinegar in there, you heat it up, you do that overnight, you clean it all out as well as just making sure that you change out that anode rod if you have a suburban water heater like we do. I call that the big three with the water. If you guys keep up with those, you should have safe, clean water running through not only your fresh water tank and water lines, but also your water heater, which sometimes gets overlooked. Next up on the list is windows. And I'm not talking about just cleaning the windows, which is something you wanna do if you haven't, but I'm talking about taking all of the screens out of the RV, taking them outside, hosing them down with some Dawn Power Wash or Gabe's Pride. We use Gabe's Pride RV Streak or the same thing we clean the camper with. We hose them down, we let them soak, we clean all of the screens up. And while those are sitting outside drying, we come inside and we clean out all of the window seals You'd probably be surprised if you go look at them right now, how much nasty stuff gets in those window seals over a year, the dust, the flies, the dirt, all the buildup gets in there. So we take just basically a damp rag or some sort of cleaner and we clean out all of the window tracks, check those fire escape hatches, make sure you pop the windows open. If you haven't opened a window in a while, they may actually be pretty hard to open. And sometimes you wanna take just a little bit of like light vegetable oil or even there's some 3M light oil and you just grease the edge of the window where it touches that rubber uh, membrane, that rubber gasket, and that'll keep those windows opening and closing smoothly because if you haven't opened some of them in a long time, you're fine, they can get stuck and pretty hard to open and you especially don't want that for the fire escape windows. So guys, six quick tips for spring cleaning, getting the RV ready inside and out. As always, we will catch you next week.